Okay. Is that the cousin there? Oh, yeah, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Why? Why? Whoa, whoa. What are you whoa. saying? I don't what? understand. I don't know. Oh, you don't know? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? I don't know. What do you want from me? What's the point of us being here? I don't know. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. me and you. Why? Me and you. You? Ippy. Today. Handsome. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 no, no, yes, yes, this next contest is scheduled for one fall and has a 45 minute time limit, introducing first, from Japan, weighing in at 180 pounds, Ippei Ota! Welcome back to ringside, ladies and gentlemen, here at Irish Whip Wrestling Global Impact. And right now, we are ready for some international action. Ipayota, from Pro Wrestling Noah in Japan. We saw him just 13 short days ago at Irish Whip Wrestling Tuesday in Dublin in Basbriggan. And what a competitor he is, one of the brightest, brightest shining stars in Pro Wrestling Noah today. And he's about to showcase his talents here in Waterford. But it's not going to be an easy task. And his opponent, he hails from New Bedlam Mental Asylum, weighing in at allegedly well over 946 pounds, Mad Man Madsen! Madman Madsen was out here at ringside with me doing commentary at Doomsday in Dublin during the tag team matchup that Ipayota was involved in when he teamed up with the Heritage Red Mini and took on the Ballymore Bruiser and Bad Bones from Germany. And during that matchup, both Manson and I witnessed Ipayota get trumped right on his head by the German sensation Bad Bones. But Ipayota proving what a top competitor he is, got right back up. And not only, not only continue that matchup, but won that matchup with a heretic red mini. As we, as we see Manson doing his thing in the ring, the insane one. He's just nuts, absolutely crazy. It's Mad Mad Manson, but don't let that fool you. He is one devastating performer inside that ring as the referee gets a mouthful of straitjacket. Come on! I'm not quite sure to expect in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Ipiota has ever met anyone quite like the insane one, Madman Manson. The bell sounds and we are ready to go here. Ipiota, of course, is known for the airplane spin in pro wrestling, Noah. He does that better than anybody I've ever seen. Oh, wait a minute. Manson thinks he's a matador now. He's not Tito Santana, I'll tell you that much. I'm not too sure if... Wait a minute, there he goes! Oda charging right at the straight jacket of Manson. And Manson a little bit too quick for Ipeyota. And look at the confused look on the face of Ipeyota. Here he comes again! Oh, wait a minute! Again. Oda gets nothing but air and turnbuckle. Oh, wait a minute, Oda now has got the straight jacket in his hand. I don't think they're used to this kind of action in pro wrestling, Noah. Is Manson gonna... And a charge of the straight jacket. I feel like I'm in a bullfight or something in Pamplona in Spain or something. Here we see the horns look out. Oh, wait a minute. Manson almost scored the ref. Wait a minute, down goes the ref. And down goes Manson. Two for one for Ipiota. Come on. Come on. Ipiota thinks he's 
Oh, wait, I think Ipiota's had it. He's had a bit. He's had enough of this comedic antics of Madman Madsen, as I said. There's nothing too comedic about the wrestling and pro wrestling. No, it's all serious. And Oda wants to get down to business. Madsen may have overstepped the boundaries here with Ipe Yoda. He's calling for Madsen to get outside the ring and cat and mouse game now going on between Madsen and Ipe Yoda. And look at that, look at the... Madsen, I can't believe, fell for that one. He got kicked below the belt for those ropes and now the inverted atomic drop. And once again by Ipe Yoda. Lifting that alleged 948 pounds into the air. And now it's all business for Ipiona. As I said, a young star in pro wrestling, though, are rapidly becoming a major superstar in Japan. Now Oda, no more Mr. Nice Guy, choking the life out of Manson in the corner with a boot right on the throat. Wrist lock now applied. Ipiota in control. Madman Manson trying to find a measure of a reversal here against Ipiota. The referee right there to check for the submission. What a night it's going to be here, ladies and gentlemen. What a night we've seen already. New, brand new zero gravity champion, Bingo Balance. And now a two time zero gravity champion defeating Puck and Bam Katraz in that tremendous triple threat matchup. Also tonight, as you know, the Irish Whip Wrestling International Championship will be decided as Vic Viper takes on Sima from uh, Dragon Gate in Japan. That and a whole lot more coming up later on here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Kid Cash will also be in action along with the anarchist Doug Williams against the man with the, go the golden can, the Ballymont Bruiser. And right now back to action here, the Madman Manson still trying to find a counter and escape from the wrist lock and now the hammer lock of Ipiota. Manson now back into the corner. Illegal use of the ropes there moments ago by Ipiota. And Oda now looks like he's drawn a bullseye on the left arm and shoulder of Madman Manson. Breaking down the left arm and shoulder of Manson methodically. One, two, three, and again, Ipeyota using the ropes illegally. No more ones. Keep them Referee Keep forced to exercise his five count. Manson now still in trouble here. A rush is falling over this crowd here in Waterford in the forum. They didn't quite expect this. And look at Ipeyota again using the ropes illegally and bringing Manson's arm right down across the shoulder. Oh, I think Ipeyota wants to take that arm off of Madsen and bring it back to Japan with him. Lateral press, hook of the leg, two. Two count only there by the referee. And Ipeyota has absolutely stopped Madman Manson dead in his tracks. I've never seen anybody do that before. Somersault into a sunset flip over the top, two. And now once again a two count by Manson. The insane one now. Trying to build momentum, but he's cut right off with a drop kick by Ipeyota. And Oda showing you what a talented in-ring performer he is. Able to, able to take the sunset flip from Manson and come right back. Beautiful snapmare takeover. And now Ipe Oda hooking in the camel clutch and raking the face of Manson at the same time. And once again, you can see Ipe Oda digging the fingers right in the face of Mad Mad Mads, and absolutely no mercy here. A lot of a press, the leg is hooked. Two count only. And I did not expect this type of action out of Ipeyota here tonight. He is pulling no punches. He wants to make a name for himself here in Irish Whip Wrestling, and what better way to do it than to defeat the man who was undefeated for two years here in Irish Whip Wrestling. Madman Manson, and that's exactly what Epeyota has come here to do tonight. And again, the wrist lock applied by Epeyota. One elbow shot takes Manson down to his knees, and again. And you've got to believe that the left arm and shoulder of Madman Manson by now is in absolute agony. 
Manson being methodically broken down. If Iota has not focused on any other body part, both that left arm and shoulder. Same body slam now, and down goes the insane one. A quick cover, the leg is hooked. A two count is all that Oda can get. Both men now back to their feet. This crowd trying to get into the action here. Trying to get behind the insane one, Madman Manson. But to no avail, he takes an elbow right under the chin. Another cover and again a two count. And one mistake that Ipayota is, is making that he's, he's not hooking the leg. And the covers of Madman Manson. Manson's not the type of athlete that you want to not hook a leg on. A well-troubled veteran like Madman Manson has literally been all over the world, he's been to the United Kingdom, he's been to America and Australia as well. And an insecurity kick right out of nowhere by Madman Manson. You never can count out the insane one. Manson uh, getting back into the game, measuring at Iota, but gets nothing but turnbuckle in Iota, one step ahead, now ramming the head of Manson into those turnbuckles. Oh, wait a minute. Manson's doing it himself. This Manson not obviously Oda didn't do his homework on the head of Madman Manson. Wait a minute, Manson goes right down. A quick cover by Oda, hook in the leg. Two, this could be a no. Two cut only. I think Oda was taken aback there moments ago by the tactics of Manson in the corner, but nonetheless, he regains control. Airplane spin, here we go. This is what he's known for in pro wrestling, Noah. How many revolutions is he, is he gonna do? There's no way of telling. Round and round goes Manson. This is absolutely devastating. Oh my God, how many revolutions? This has gotta be torture for the insane one. Right into the Samoan drop. And that's gotta take a tremendous toll on both men. That airplane spin. One of the most time-tested moves in the business. Nonetheless, one of the most effective. And the referee now laying the count on both men. If Iota tried to get back to his feet there moments ago, but couldn't. Both men completely disoriented here. As you see, both men trying to get back to their feet. And they do so. Madsen fires off the first forearm. If Iota returns the favor. And now a slugfest developing between both men. Matson on fire with those four out shots, right to the face. Irish whip from the far side now. What a close line! And that airplane spin may have served to uh, set the brains of Madman Manson back in place. Would have knocked the normal guy out. Scoop up by Manson. Windy barnacle. The windy barnacle, this should do it out of nowhere. The leg is hooked. And, no, I don't believe it. If I ought to kick out, I've never seen anybody do that. If I ought to kicking out of the windy of the windy barnacle of Madman Manson, absolutely unbelievable. Manson now perching if I ought to up on that top turnbuckle. Manson with a head of steam. He gets a boot to the face for his trouble. Oda now from the second rope, the blockbuster. He's pad the maneuver, this should be it, the leg is hooked, it's gotta be over two. No, Manson kicked out, I can't believe it. And neither can it be Oda. Oda has put away many men with that maneuver in Japan, but not here tonight, up goes, hit by Oda. Down, brain damage driver and it's over. Here's your winner, man, man, Manson! This matchup, ladies and gentlemen, back and forth action. Madman Manson eking out the victory seemingly from out of nowhere with a brain damage driver on Imbriota after Oda had hit the blockbuster off Manson, but it was not to be. And now Manson is looking for a show of respect from Imbriota. <laughs> Wait a minute. Manson. Manson extending his foot and now the hand to Imbriota. What a matchup.
backstage here, ladies and gentlemen, with a man who has had a change of heart recently since we last saw him in Irish whip wrestling, the anarchist Doug Williams, who faces tonight the man with a golden can, the Ballymun Bruiser. Darcy, you know we've been here before, and last time I was as nice as pie to you, and this time I'm going to be nice again. But I'll tell you three things about the match tonight. I'm wrestling an Irish man in front of an Irish audience in some backwater Irish town. And for that reason, for those three reasons, this match is going to be a living hell for me. For so, you? Yeah, for me. Because I'm a proud Englishman. And we all know that here are the Irish and here are the English. So I'm going to take maybe three, four, maybe even five minutes to finish this guy off and get out of this living hell as quickly as possible. Oh, come on, Doug Williams, don't give me that. The Ballymun Bruiser is one of the toughest competitors here in Irish whip wrestling. And you talk about Englishmen, what about Chick Cullen training the Ballymun Bruiser? For weeks prior to this event, he's been training the Ballymun Bruiser to wrestle you. Chick Cullen, a man that you know very well. How about that? So you've got a Scottishman training an Irishman to take on an Englishman. Mark, you're more stupid than I could ever possibly imagine. There's no way the Ballymun Bruiser... I mean, does anyone here have a real name? you got... Vic Viper, the Ballyman Bruiser. Come on, Doug Williams, real name, real attitude, real wrestler. He's going down, maybe three, four, I told you before, I might just give him five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the anarchist Doug Williams. Tonight, he faces the man with the golden cap, the Ballyman Bruiser. Right now, let's get back to ringside. This next contest is scheduled for one fall and has a 45 minute time limit. Introducing first, from Reading, England, weighing in at 225 pounds, the anarchist, Doug Williams! And his opponent, he weighs in at 200 pounds from the house of fun, Ballymun, the man with the golden can, the Ballymun Bruiser! And there he is, the man with the golden can, the Ballymun Bruiser. No doubt in for the match of his life here tonight. The Ballymun Bruiser is the earlier on here tonight. Pre-match comments with the anarchist Doug Williams in the middle of that ring. And it didn't go exactly as the bruiser planned. But you can bet he's gonna have his game face on right here tonight, as will the anarchist. As a matter of fact, recently, legendary professional wrestling great from the United Kingdom, Chick Cullen from the World of Sport Days. As the bell sounds, Chick Cullen, legendary wrestling competitor, British heavyweight champion on numerous occasions, was training the Ballymun Bruiser in preparation for tonight's big matchup against the first ever Ring of Honor pure wrestling champion, Doug Williams. As both men lock up, Colin Elbow in the center of the ring, and the Bruiser backed into the corner. The Ballymun Bruiser giving up 15 pounds of body weight to the anarchist Doug Williams, who, who weighed in at 225 pounds tonight. Doug Williams is all business. We last saw him You're calling me old. at Doomsday in Dublin just 13 short days ago. He was competing in a triple threat match for the IWW International Heavyweight Championship against Takeshi Rikyo from Pro Wrestling Noah and the current champion, the Snake Man, Big Viper. And what a matchup it was. But tonight, he's got his sights set on the Bruiser, the Valleymont Bruiser now with the head scissors on the anarchist Doug Williams. Williams now, look at the tremendous technical ability of the anarchist Doug Williams and a slap right across the face. And Williams seems to have won over this crowd here tonight in Waterford somewhat. I've never seen these types of 
of antics and tactics from the anarchist Doug Williams. He's always been about fair play and good sportsmanship, but not tonight. And a retaliation there by the Ballymont Bruiser. And Williams, the 14-year veteran, goes to the outside. Williams now complaining to the referee. But the Ballymont Bruiser Did giving as good that? as he's getting here tonight. The Bruiser has been one of the top competitors here at Irish Whip Wrestling for the past two years. Two. But tonight will be his biggest challenge to date, no doubt about it. Both men lock up once again. Snapmare takeover by Doug Williams. Williams who has competed in those World of Sport type matchups before and has been very successful. One of the most technically sound athletes in the world today. He's also a former judo champion in 1992. So he's a well-rounded competitor, as we said, former GHC tag team champion with Scorpio. Nice leg trip and a toe and ankle hold now applied by Williams. Again, showing you that technical ability. The Ballymont Bruiser is going to have to. Uh, he's going to have to use his superior quickness here tonight against Williams. No doubt, the Ballymont Bruiser won't match Williams with experience, but tactics like that, taking Williams right to the outside of the ring. And the Ballymont Bruiser can do better than anybody else here at Irish Whip Wrestling, and that is fight. He can fight like nobody else here at IWW. A man with a golden can, known for the wicked dream. Williams now back into the ring, doubles over the bruiser. With an eight in the midsection, standing side headlock now by the anarchist. Williams now with a shoulder block. The anarchist in control. Wait a minute, nice leg trip by the Ballymont bruiser. The wily tactics of the bruiser, beautiful flying shoulder block. By the Ballymont bruiser, over the top he goes. From the far side now, leap bomb by Doug Williams. The boot is caught, and a clothesline by the man with the golden cap once again. Nice arm drag takeover into the key lock arm bar now by the man with the golden can. The bruiser has come here tonight to fight. Make no mistake about it, just like every other night. But speaking to the Ballymont bruiser earlier on, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you firsthand that I've never seen him in the mindset that he is in tonight. He is psyched. He is pumped up for this match. He realizes the importance that a victory would do to his career here tonight against the anarchist Doug Williams. And Williams now trying to get a, a seat on the outside, trying to take a rest, trying to take a breather amongst these fans. And this is the experience edge that Doug Williams possesses. He's making the Ballymont Bruiser think about the situation here, slowing the pace down to wrestle his type of matchup. Wrist lock now applied by the Bruiser. And as I said earlier, I don't think the Bruiser will be able to go hold for hold with the anarchist Doug Williams. But the Ballymont Bruiser may prove me wrong. He hang on, hung on there very expertly onto the wrist lock of Doug Williams. Scoop slam now by Williams, and once again, the Ballymont Bruiser hanging on. Great tenacity and technical ability being shown by the man with the golden can. The Ballymont Bruiser now putting the bad mouth on the anarchist Doug Williams. Williams rolls through. Rolls through once again, and the Bruiser still has a hold of the left arm. Oh, wait a minute. Bruiser now... I have never seen, I don't believe, the Ballymont Bruiser display this much technical acumen, and the great technical wrestler, Doug Williams, was forced to go to a thumb right to the eye to escape that wrist lock, and then gets a retaliation of the forearm right to the face. So the Bruiser out wrestling, it appears. Doug Williams so far in this matchup. I am very surprised at that. And full credit to the Ballymont Bruiser. Wait a minute. A shot right to the outside there by Doug Williams burying the knee right to the face. And Williams is known for the use of his knees inside the ring. He uses the bomb scare knee drop from the top rope. And the Bruiser now thrown right to the outside. The Bruiser also has to be wary of that chaos theory of Doug Williams is now that rolling. German suplex, that's absolutely devastating. And speaking of devastating, what a boot right to the face.
face by the anarchist Doug Williams. And the bruiser has been knocked for a loop. And it's the, the pure technical wrestler, Doug Williams, going to the streets in this matchup. A bit of a reversal of roles, so to speak, in this matchup. I expected Doug Williams to mat wrestle the Ballymont Bruiser here tonight. We haven't seen that as of yet. And look at Williams now, both feet on the ropes. And the referee, good call by the official, seeing what was going on there. Front face lock now by Williams. Taking up the Ballymont Bruiser. And down, vertical suplex, nicely done. And Williams, you can see him now beginning to pour on the heat on the Bruiser. Drops the knee down. Those trademark knees of Williams, lateral press. He did not hook the leg, and a two count is all he can get. And if you want to put an athlete away like the Ballymont Bruiser, you're going to have to hook, hook the leg at least to gain the victory, maybe even some tights. The Bruiser now being choked with the pressure in the second row. Williams laying all of his 225 plus pounds on the kidneys and spine of the Bruiser, now snapping him back into the ring. Pump handle. Hooking in the uh, version of the abdominal stretch using both arms this time and not the not the traditional application of the abdominal stretch. Nonetheless, the bruiser in a tremendous amount of pain. There's very little he can do there. He's wide open to shots like that. A straight forearm shot right across the face of the Valley Mud Bruiser. I would trip to the far side. Sunset hit by the bruiser. He gets him over, hooks the shoulders. They should do it too. No. Williams using his feet to get out of that leg, but what a clothesline! Unbelievable shot, you can see the pain on the face of the Ballymont Bruiser. Williams mean, means business tonight. And again, the knee drop right between the eyes of the Ballymont Bruiser. Another cover. The feet on the ropes once again. And once again, the referee sees it. Sooner or later, the ref's gonna have to step in there and put a stop to this action. Williams doing anything it takes to attain victory here tonight. And Williams now pulling the hair of the Ballymont Bruiser in this camel clutch. All the way of Doug Williams, the anarchist, sitting right down on the kidneys and spinal area of the Ballymont Bruiser. Now an eye wake by the anarchist. And the Ballymont Bruiser is in deep, deep trouble right now. But don't cut the man with the golden can out just yet. He is one of the toughest here in Irish whip wrestling. Up he goes and down he goes. The lead back suplex by Doug Williams. And the Ballymont Bruiser now reaching out for the ropes, looking for some kind of refuge. Another cover two. Two count only. And I don't believe I've ever seen the Ballymont Bruiser in this much pain before, ladies and gentlemen. The anarchist Doug Williams has really taken it to him tonight. Here comes the chaos theory, but no! The Bruiser hooks the turnbuckles wisely. Up he goes and over. Doug Williams landing on his feet, fires off a forearm shot. Suplex to the outside, oh no! No, the Bruiser blocks it, and once again blocks it. Forearm by the Bruiser, and down goes the Atticus to the floor. The Ballymont Bruiser. Getting this crowd behind him, here in Waterford. The referee now laying the count on Doug Williams on the outside, the anarchist in trouble. Wait a minute now, the anarchist Doug Williams back on that top rope. The Bruiser waiting for him. Right hand at three, three sixties. The anarchist Doug Williams, beautiful clothesline. The Bruiser now on the roll, another one. The Ballymont Bruiser with a chop. Forearm by Williams. Both men training these vicious forearms. Irish whip to the center of the ropes. Williams takes an elbow right to the sternum. The Ballymont Bruiser now building momentum. Oh my goodness, tremendous maneuver. Driving the knee right into the back of the head and neck of Williams. The leg is hooked. 
No, two and three quarters. The Valley Mud Bruiser came ever so close to a victory that time. Suplex! The Valley Mud Bruiser now calling for the German suplex. One of his panda maneuvers, perhaps a vertical one. Here we go, front face lock. Williams blocks it. Right hand to the gut. Fisherman Buster by Williams. They should do it too. Two count only by the referee. And the Ballymont Bruiser not out of this one yet. Series of knees there by, by Doug Williams and a beautiful million dollar knee lift. The Bruiser may be out, the leg is hooked this time too. No, once again the Bruiser kicks out. The Ballymont Bruiser showing you his toughness and tenacity. We've got a camera crew here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, at ringside. From TV3 in Ireland, they're doing a piece right now on the Ballymun Bruiser. The Bruiser has quickly become one of the most influential superstars here in Irish whip wrestling. One of the most recognizable names in IWW. And what a boost for his career it would be tonight if he could win this matchup. With these cameras looking on, and now the Bruiser, second turnbuckle on the inside. The Bruiser crawling over to the cover, lateral press, the leg is hooked, two count, no, two count only. Doug Williams not out of this one yet. Williams has come here to win, no question about it. Nonetheless, the former ROH Pure Wrestling Champion is in trouble. Here comes the Ballymont Bruiser, and he charges right into that reverse elbow. A short Irish whip to the corner by the Anarchist, and again to the far side, tremendous velocity. Here comes the Williams with those knees in the corner. And one more time, the high knee by Williams. And the Bruiser may be down and out. The Attic is now going up top. We may see that bomb scare knee drop. The patented bomb scare knee drop. No, the Bruiser ducks out of the way, but Williams lands on his feet. Here comes the Bruiser, he ducks the clothesline from the far side, cross body block. The Attic is passing, body slam. Wait a minute, the Bruiser with a quick roll up. This could do it, too. No, I thought that was it. Two and seven eighths that time by the Bruiser. He came ever so close. Inside cradle. This should do it now, too. No, once again. Once again, Williams kicks out. Looking for that German suplex. Bruiser looking to reverse it. Wait a minute, a low blow by the Anarchist. Sunset flip, perhaps. This time, the Bruiser hooks the legs, too. And he got it. comments from the man who's just had one of the biggest victories of his career, the Ballymont Bruiser. You just defeated the anarchist, Doug Williams. How do you feel? I love that word. I love the defeat. Man, I did. I just won Doug Williams. One of the hardest hitting, hardest match I've ever had in my life, yeah? He took me all around that ring. We buried each other up. He's big. He picked me up. He slammed me. But uh, 
You know, I, don't, I never thought I'd do it three years ago, I never thought I'd do this, but uh, I always text for one man. Last week, one man took me around that ring and he showed me European style, he showed me British style. That man's Frank Hull, I'd like to ask him over here right now. Chick Hull, I'm going to do that again. The reason I told you you do it, son, well done. I said, do you remember last week we were in the ring? Three Bs, remember it? To win a match, you need your brain, you need your balls, and you need belief, and you had belief, well done. Okay, you listened, you did it the hard way. Doug Williams is a tough competitor, I've wrestled him many times. I told you if he takes you on the floor, he'll tire you, and when you're tired, he'll hit you. And that's exactly what he did when you came back. Well done, you deserve it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ballymont Bruiser and Frank Chick Cullen. Sasha, I don't think that's going to